Hey, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to draw rectangles in the screen doing mouse clicks. And before we begin, I just want to mention that I managed to fix the problem that I was experiencing in the previous videos. So I'm not sure if this is a bug with the DSDL2 library or with EXWM. I'm not sure. All I know is that if I add this uh, back to the window creation, it, it works. So just to explain a little bit more, the thing is that EXWM was creating the window as if it was floating. As you can see, I'm using a floating uh, window manager. And that was messing up the input focus from the, you know, from the keyboard and other things, which didn't allow me to communicate directly to the window. Anyways, I should probably look more into it, but this should solve that problem that I was having. Also, the first thing that we need to add is the uh, vector header from the standard library because we're going to be storing those as the old recs in, uh, in an array, right? So instead of you know managing the the memory ourselves, I'm just going to leave it to them because we're not going to do something too heavy here, and it's good enough. The, the library, I think, it's good enough. So we're then going to catch uh, the event. We're going to compare it to mouse button down like that. And then we're going to open the switch statement as well. And this is stored in the button part of the struct. Yeah. And in here, we're going to catch SEL button left. And I'm also just going to add a lock to make sure that this is working as, a, as we're expecting it to. Let's run this thing. There we go. The clicked logs are coming out. So we can delete this thing. The first thing that we need to do is get the mouse position. Now, luckily for us, I mean, I'm just going to create two variables here. We do have a uh, function for that, which is get mouse state. So passing the reference from X and Y, the, one, the ones that we just created. And then in our Rex, we just pull pushback and we give it X, Y, and I don't know, 50 by 50. And I think this should do it. If it doesn't, we're just gonna debug it. You already know that. And then we're actually gonna call, we're gonna create a for loop to iterate over our our rectangles. Now this is, I think, C plus plus seventeen syntax. I just used to get uh, things done quickly, but uh, some people hate it. I just, man, I don't care about it. But you just you know, for uh, easily showing you how to do it, I think this is good enough, right? So. This is basically iterating over every single uh, rectangle that we have in store in that dynamic vector that we created. That's that's all. And then we're gonna call render field rect, and we're gonna give it the reference from a rectangle. And I think this should do it. I'm not sure. Let's give it a shot. Oop! There we go. We're drawing rectangles to the screen without too much hassle, right? Um, this is like really primitive, but I want to get to the point in which we can draw like a line on the screen, sort of like we did on Microsoft uh, Paint, you know, that that paint, paint program. It's going to be much more primitive than that, but I do want to end up, you know, like color picking and that sort of deal. It might take like quite a bit of videos to get to that point, but I don't know, we'll see. But if this was useful, I mean, if you have any problems with whatever it is that we're doing, uh, let me know and I'll do my best to, to help you out. I also want to mention that I'm going to be uh, pushing this code to a public repository so that may, maybe if you're following along the videos, I'm going to have, I mean, you're going to have the, the commit list in there so that you can see what the changes are. And again, if uh, anything I can help, um, I'm here. So thanks for watching.